guys welcome back to my channel and happy new year it is 2019 so i thought what better way to start off 2019 with kind of a recap of what happened in 2018 so this video is going to be called 2018 the good the bad and the ugly and you might see arcadius during this because he is out right now running around getting his exercise let me see if i can show you you can see him he's over on my bed but i might be stopping and starting in this video a lot because his new favorite thing is to try and climb my shelves and there he goes on my snake enclosures he's in breeding season right now so he's being a little bit of an <laughs> otherwise i would probably have him on my shoulder or something but he will not sit still he wants something to do with me holding him right now all he wants is to climb my shelving unit. All right, so getting into it, 2018 was a good year for my reptile family. My reptile family started to really kick off. The beginning of 2018 was when I got my first snake. So that would be Phoenix, my corn snake. She was a rescue, about two years old. So I got my first snake, finally. And it was everything I could have wished for. I decided I absolutely loved snakes. I knew I did, but I never owned one. And that led me to getting a couple more throughout the year. Not only did my reptile family grow, but so did my social media and the friends that I made. 2018, I made so many new friends on Instagram and YouTube, and I am so grateful for that. Everyone is so amazing. But I started to take Instagram more seriously. I hit my goal of a thousand subscribers, not subscribers, a thousand followers and I started a YouTube channel. I didn't want to start YouTube for a while and just kind of never really knew what I wanted to do. But once I started my little reptile family, I knew that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make videos about my reptiles. And it was really Arcadius, my iguana, that kicked it off because there isn't much out there for iguanas. So I wanted to put stuff out there. So not only did I start it, but I hit my goal of 300 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing. And then moving into kind of the personal aspects, I completed four internships this year. My first internship and three others, two of which kind of had to do with herps a little bit. One was with an aquarium, so they had some turtles. And the second one was with herps on campus. The zoo was renovating their reptile house, so they, so they were keeping some of their turtles and frogs off grounds at my school and they were looking for one student to help take care of them as a little internship and so thankfully I had some connections with the professors and they got me in so I spent every Saturday going and helping look after them. And then on top of that I graduated a semester early so I graduated in December with a degree in animal behavior, ecology, and conservation and a minor in zoo biology also a second major in digital media arts. I don't know if any of you really knew that, that I double majored. But yes, I graduated early, two majors and a minor. And then on top of that, I moved back home. That's where I am right now for the next couple months, just kind of taking a breather. But I did get a new job at our local nature center right before Christmas. So they have turtles and frogs. And when I went into interview, they told me they wanna help me get some resume builders for when I go applying for zoo jobs. So I just couldn't have ended the year any better. What are you doing? Come here. Can you say hi to everybody? <laughs> the pretty boy. He gave you guys the tongue. Here. So on top of my internships, I also was asked to do reptile enrichment at the local SPCA where I went to school. One of the guys that was kind of in charge of the exotics department put together a team for exotic enrichment and my position was strictly reptile enrichment. So I would go in occasionally whenever I had some time and just enrich some of the reptiles there. So you guys have probably seen videos of Max the turtle. I think I've posted about Steve the bearded dragon. Did I say turtle? I meant to say tortoise. Max was a tortoise. And then I ended the year going back to my reptile roots, which is adopting and rescuing. 
I kind of gotten away from that a little bit with all the expos I was going to, but ultimately I wanted to go back to that. So I ended the year taking in Tinsel, my sunbeam snake, and Snicket, my ball python. So that's how I ended my year, was adopting two new snakes. You can't climb on the snakes. Go down there. Ow, geez, your nails need to be cut. And then the last good thing I want to mention for 2018 is because it's going last because it leads into the bad things of 2018. So really amazing thing that happened in 2018 was I got my dream snake. And not only did I get my dream snake, but I got it around my birthday. So there was a local breeder breeding rainbow boas and he had a bunch of babies on my birthday. So I got one of his babies, not one of them, I got the prettiest one of his babies. Gorgeous red, little Apollo, you guys probably remember him. I had multiple videos with him or of him and I actually had a naming contest and you guys helped me name him Apollo. So getting into the bad for 2018, Apollo, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys already know, but I haven't made the announcement on YouTube yet. Apollo did get loose back in October and as hard as I tried, I never found him and it was just the worst time of my life. I was a complete mess for a week straight. I think all I did was cry. It, was, it wasn't a good time. Alright, back with another update. Still no Apollo. I took a nap. I don't know how long I was asleep for. I probably just slept for an hour, not gonna lie. So I took a nap, still no sign of him. So because I am really worried, I went down and got another mouse. So I'm just hoping if it gets later and he like wakes up and it's time for him to be active, hoping I'll find him. I don't plan on sleeping until I find him. I will sit on my bed and I will watch the floor and wait for movement. It's gonna be a long night, guys. But I think what made it worse was the fact that I was moving out and winter was coming. Game of Thrones fans, anybody? But I moved out. I did leave his enclosure with one of my roommates. So should he happen to turn up, she had his enclosure. But he was so small and the house was really old, really cold. And I believe he went into a hole in my closet, which means he was like inside of the house literally um so i am not too sure that he would have made it very long especially being a baby rainbow boa and needing that high humidity our house is very dry and very cold and there was a mouse that lived in my wall so on top of the cold and dryness he was battling a large rodent so that was probably the worst part of 2018 for me was losing Apollo. I do miss him very, very much. And now that I've gotten out of that bunk, I would really like to own another one because they are my favorite and he was my pride and joy, besides Arcadius, of course. Um, but he was my little boy and I miss him so much. So I'd love to get another one soon, hopefully. So the other really bad part of 2018, um, I'm definitely not proud of. This was while I was in my Apollo funk. I went through different phases. So at first I was absolutely miserable. Couldn't imagine owning any more reptiles. I felt like the worst reptile owner in the world. And then after I got out of that, I got into this funk where I kind of had a void to fill, which is really bad when you're going to the largest expo in New York state or, or in Northeast America, whatever their title is now, very, very large expo and I left with three animals, one of which was planned. The other two were not. They were animals that I wanted, but they were not animals that I went there planning to get. I already had enclosures and all the necessary things for them at home. If I didn't, I would not have bought them. But because I had all the supplies I needed for them at home, I did buy them. And out of the three, two of them were wild caught. And this is the part that I'm extremely not proud of. Many of you guys have heard me talk on Instagram about wild cots. 
I am anti-wildcaught, except for when it comes to conservation or if you're adopting or taking in a rehome that was wild caught. At that point, it's already gone from the vendor. It's already gone from the breeder, pet store, wherever it was originally bought from. So at that point, it just needs a good home. So I always said I would never own a wild caught except if it was a adoption or a rescue. And I unfortunately ended up leaving with two wild caught animals. One I figured was probably wild caught. It was kind of in rough shape, but he was an absolute sweetheart. And that was my Peter's Banded Skink, Momo. So you guys know about Momo if you follow me on Instagram. I never did an official video for him because he was going through a lot. So I wanted to see if he would get better and pull through before I made a video. I will be making a video strictly talking about wild caught animals and I do have footage from my, um, my adventure, we'll say, with Momo and taking him to the vet and everything he went through, but he ended up having underlying problems that were not visible when I purchased him. So when I purchased him, I was like, he's this sweet little thing choose personality we clicked automatically and I knew that I could take him to the vet and that I would take him to the vet where someone else that comes along might not and so that was kind of in my head where I was going I was telling myself this is okay I'm rescuing him and I know buying from pet stores buying from breeders it's not rescuing you're just encouraging them to go and sell these animals but I had such a connection with him and I knew that I would take him to the vet and I would do everything I could for him. So I ended up getting him. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that he did not make it. Unfortunately, he passed away, I think a week or a couple days before Christmas. Um, we did go out and bury him. He does have a little rock that I painted for him, a little tombstone. That picture is on Instagram as well. May he rest in peace. The other animal I left with was a toke gecko and you guys probably saw her on Instagram if you follow me she made a quick little appearance in my story one night someone asked me if I would ever get a toke gecko the answer is yes in fact I have one she unfortunately has a lot of issues right now she was doing totally fine um, now she has some issues so we're working on that I'm not sure if she'll pull through um, that's why I haven't talked about her either. I've been wanting, first of all, to make a video about wild cards and this video to talk about what happened, how I acquired these animals, and then I'm extremely not proud of how I acquired these animals or that I even acquired them in the first place. Um, the Toke, though, I should have asked. I should have asked if she was wild card or captive bred, but I assumed she was captive bred because he was asking more for her than I've seen wild cots go for. And she was completely calm. She was a gorgeous blue color. And when I picked her up and looked at her, she was totally fine. She didn't do any mouth gaping. Seemed totally chill, totally fine with people. Of course, not held at all. I did ask the breeder, you know, have you ever held her? And he said, good luck. But so in my mind, I'm thinking she's fine, she's captive bred, she had me captive bred, I mean, especially with the price he was asking. Well, later I decided I would be safe and come from my bases and I asked him, I messaged him on Facebook and asked him, was she a wild caught? And he said, yes. So then I asked, was she wild caught? Where was she wild caught from? Cause I'm thinking, you know, if she's from Florida and she was an invasive toke, that would make me feel a little better but she came from her natural habitat overseas. So we're dealing with that. I did treat her for parasites, but she does have other issues now that we are working on. So let this be a lesson. I learned the hard way, even though I already knew that I was against wild cats and that you shouldn't buy wild cats. I own wild cats now and they are my most stressful animals. Tinsel. My snake I adopted, my sunbeam, is a wild cat, but she was an adoption. So that I am okay with. But ultimately, wild cat animals, they come with parasites, they come with 
other issues they're just not meant for captivity a lot of the time if they're wild caught it's because we haven't been able to produce a captive bred population which means we ultimately don't know as much as we should about about their care and requirements so they're just they're not cut out for the captive life side note i do understand that captive populations do have to start somewhere so let's just leave that wild caught area to breeders who want to make that happen and not to the general public that wants to buy them at expos and pet stores. So that's my opinion on wild caught animals. That is my experience with wild caught animals. Now I know to be more careful about buying animals at expos. Like I said, I was in this massive funk from Apollo. I felt like I had this void that needed to be filled. And quite frankly, I was not in my right mind. If I went to an expo now that's been a while and I've kind of gotten out of my Apollo funk, if I were to go to an expo now, I would not have left with all those animals. I would have left with one and it would be the one that was planned and that would be it. So that was my bad and ugly times of 2018, but 2019 now. So I'm just gonna leave all of that in 2018. It's a new year, we're moving on. I'm excited for lots of things this year. I'm hoping to really take YouTube more seriously, make more videos, make more friends. And I can't wait to see what 2019 brings. So if you have some awesome 2019 New Year's resolutions, let me know what they are in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss all of my new videos in 2019. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.